Hi everyone, just a really quick video. Um, I posted a what's new to the Galaxy S4 in 4.4 KitKat video yesterday and I suddenly remembered I left something important out and that's the changes to multi-window. Um, so I'm just going to do that quickly as this sort of mini video which I'll then post a link for in the description of the main video or something like that just so you know what's changed. Um, sorry about that completely slipped my mind so I'll show you the changes uh, first of all there's a lot more apps compatible with it we now have the Play Store um, Play Music no Google Plus unfortunately which is a bit, a bit of a shame Playbooks, Maps, YouTube BBM Facebook things like that it does say S Note that's an S5 port though that's not S Note wasn't included in the KitKat update something else new is grouping so here I have email and gallery and I'll show you how that works or I also have Hangouts and Chrome and the way that works is let's say you use two apps open at the same time fairly regularly so we'll say play music and Twitter let's say you want to tweet about whatever song you're listening to go down here you hit create you hit that little arrow and you hit create there we go create wasn't touching it properly for some reason ask you to name it, you hit OK then you see that little animation of those going up there and it says Twitter slash play music so now let's close all open apps so no, no recent apps in the background click here drag the group over and it opens them up, opens them up in that sequence so that's quite cool um, let's go into some of the other features and we'll need different apps open for that so we'll need email and gallery. A lot of these features I think were available in on the Note 3 from launch so it's really just a Note 3 port to this. Um, a lot of what I'm going to show you unfortunately only works with the Samsung apps like Samsung Mail. It doesn't work on Gmail which is a shame. That is something I tried. So let's say here, here is a nice Mercedes that I worked on at Mercedes on Monday, yesterday. So that's how I want to send that to someone. So we'll hit the dot in the middle here, and we'll hit this bottom option. Hold down the picture, drag it up to the email, in it goes. And then I can write the email and send it, and it will send. Um, it can be a range of things that you can send. You can send contact information. I'm not going to show you that because obviously I don't want you seeing the phone numbers and people want their phone numbers up on the internet. Um, you can drag links for websites. So let's say we have Chrome here open instead of the gallery, and there's a web page I want to send someone. So say the Holofication Nation web page. I hit the same option again, click on it, drag it to the email, and there's a link holonation.co.uk. Check out their apps, actually, they're pretty good. Very often better than the stock version of the apps as well. So that's quite a cool thing actually just being able to drag things like that in terms of that the other options are uh, a multi-window mode so if we go down here and we hit that not multi-window mode, a tabs mode sorry like in your browser so you hit tabs it would help if I actually pressed the button there you go these are the apps that I've had open and I can switch back to the gallery instead of Chrome and then I can hit it again or well, let's say that I want Chrome, the gallery in Chrome open rather than one of them an email. I'll click the above app, hit that button again. Oh, okay. I was expecting Chrome to appear up here so I could swap it for that app, but it seems I can only swap it for the bottom apps. That's quite strange. Don't know why that is. You can also then obviously you can rearrange the apps, you can maximize them, and there's an X there to close them. So that's basically all that's new in terms of multi-window. I did mean to include that in my full review yesterday. Um, again, I apologise for having to do it in a separate video. Anyway, link to this video will be in the description of the full review and a link to the full review will be in the description of this video. So if you haven't watched the full review and you're watching this now, click that and you'll see everything else that was included in the KitKat update. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. At the same time, if you have any uh, comments on what I've said, let, them, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you.